Howdy everyone! Welcome back to our step-by-step -step tutorial series where we are walking you through the process of making a Modumate model from your first clicks right through to a finished project that gets you instant DWGs, renderings, and quantity estimates. Our next step is to take a floor plan that we have traced for its doors and its walls and elevate it into the third dimension. In this case, we have a floor plan here, and if I hide the image we've traced, we have a series of walls and doors waiting to be lofted into the third dimension. All right, this is a fun, fun step here. So the tool we will use to create these walls is our massing graphs rectangle tool. The rectangle tool allows you to create a rectangle by clicking three points. First, the start for a rectangle, then one of its edges. In this case, I'm gonna, when I elevate walls, I love to create vertical rectangles. So I'm gonna make an eight foot tall vertical rectangle here. And when I mouse around the plan, you can see the perpendicular direction now is very straightforward to draw. And as I click each rectangle, they, the next one begins to chain for me. So the process of laying out walls is real straightforward. I'm going to travel to each point where a series of walls meets. I'm going to go around the perimeter first, just as personal tradition, although I could wind anywhere I want to throughout the plan. But here I go elevating my plan. Do, 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 do and I have now completed the perimeter. The next convenient element of this rectangle tool is that when you target any edge along its midspan, whether it's at the midpoint or just somewhere along its length, like here, and you click, it starts to drag a rectangle right out from that edge. It's like an extrude tool that comes from an edge instead of from a face. And now I will trace the interior walls like this. Press escape to stop my chain, continue extruding, Go, 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 escape to end my chain. Here I will take this across the way to this point. Keep on going. Oh, I misclicked. Okay, control Z saves me there. And I will start my extrusion one more time. And I will click over here. And I'll keep on tracing this HVAC room. It's always nice to when you have a, a set of walls to draw and you notice yourself being given the option to extrude this HVAC room from this point all the way to this point. It's nice to make a stop along the way at this point because you're giving yourself the vertical edge that you will next need to start extruding across the way. So by clicking in this fashion, I have, I have given myself an edge that I can use to trace across this room. So I will keep on going and I will now box out the pantry. I will extrude uh, the uh, wing wall for the fridge. Heck, I'm going to extrude this uh, island wall up to 36 inches. I know that the wall itself might be a little shorter because there's a countertop on top, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Now I'll do the closets for the hallway and the bedroom. And I will come around the corner here to finish the bedroom and bathroom. Oh, I just clicked and accidentally targeted the dimension string following my cursor. So I control Z to exit that little issue. And I'm tracing my plan. <clears throat> Couple more here. All right, pretty fast, but I'm missing one wall here for the garage separate the garage from the hallway. Looks to me like I have created most of the walls. There might be, there's one wing wall here that I missed. I'll bring this one up since I don't have a vertical wall. I'm holding shift to constrain this rectangle to an axis. I could do the same along world green, but I'm gonna do it to world blue. If you're ever confused where these affordances are coming from, you'll notice that I started this extrusion along the floor about a third of the way, or maybe 40% of the way along this edge. So my cursor needs to be directly above that place that I clicked in order to get an affordance. I can't be above this point. That, that, that is not meaningful. I can't be above this point. Also not meaningful. The place to get an affordance is above where your cursor hit that first edge. If I were over here, it'd be up on this point that I get my affordance, not the previous. Anyway, holding shift lets me constrain to the same height as my neighbors. I then click and have committed my wall. 
Okay. One last round across the plan for the doors. We're going to use the same rectangle extrude workflow, except this time we're going to send the doors vertically from the floor plan. Because we demarcated either side of the door, we have an easy process of just extruding a plane up, let's say, seven feet for your garage door. This plane is carved out from the greater plane, so there's no redundant planes. They are uh, subtracted apart or split apart. All right, back to my rectangle tool, the hotkey for which is RE. So in future uh, moments, I will click RE to get back into that tool. I'm going to elevate this to be, sure, a seven foot front door. Why not? And this interior closet here to be 80 inches, typing eight zero quotation mark to get that high. I can now also hold shift on other doors and snap to the top of that first door. If I don't want feel like typing, I can just drag everybody up to the same height. And as I do, I'm now elevating these closet doors. You can see the plan starting to take more and more shape as we work. This particular wall, if I recall from the image, from the, uh, ooh, I missed, a, I missed a wall in here. Rectangle across the way. This particular wall, I believe, is an, uh, is a kind of a drop, a soffit wall of sorts. I don't believe it's part of the actual floor plan. If I unhide my floor plan, oh, it looks like there might be a small surround here. So I can use my rectangle tool and pull it out. Let's go six inches. Why not? Six inches on both sides. <clears throat> How much clear space does that leave? Four foot eight. That seems pretty good. Um, maybe five feet is desired, but I'll stick with four eight for now. This line's not needed at the moment. So that's a more, as a matter of fact, this probably has a drop beam too, based on the line work here. So I'm going to drop a beam out to a foot, let's say, and use the rectangle tool to extrude it across. And then I'll select this edge and delete it, which joins the two planes. Select this also joins the two planes. So there is now one plane that is C-shaped and rings the opening. I'll get back to hiding my floor plan. And we have ourselves, uh, we've got a few more doors to elevate still. RE for the rectangle tool. Click on the base, go upward by eight zero quotation mark, 80 inches. Again, up on this side, 80 inches, holding shift to snap to the adjacent doors, heading up, snap here. I'm gonna head, this is the bathroom door, and I'm gonna snap here, and then head up and snap here. Uh, this looks like the door location here, great. And it looks like I forgot to demarcate the doors in this room. So I'm gonna unhide UH, my plan, li my line tool and demarcate two foot nine two foot four sure in this case just to show off an alternate means of making doors i'm going to just use lines and draw vertically 80, 80 inches hold shift to snap along world green snap to my opposite base click and click and this process is just as valid of a, a means of drawing doors as the vertical extrusion technique that I'm showing off elsewhere in the plan. So if I go 80 inches here, we should be all taken care of in terms of plans, uh, walls and door planes. Oh, I'm missing one here. All right, 80 inches. So uh, as you're working on your own model, you are going to likely have a slightly more complex plan than this. Um, it might be a little larger, it might be a little smaller. There might be multiple stories, but your criteria for moving on to the next step is that you've got a floor plan traced, your walls elevated to the right heights, and your doors also carved out from those walls. So hopefully you're arriving to a similar amount of completeness on your model as I am here. We finished this step. The next step is going to be carving out windows, which we will do in the following video. See you there.